Bloomberg's Catherine Burton broke the story on uh, Stan Druckenmiller and his decision to retire, close down his firm. Catherine joins me now. Kathy, uh, great work with this story. I know you did get a chance to, to speak with uh, Druckenmiller himself. He's a giant in the hedge fund world. Never had a losing year until this one. Is it just what happened in 2010, the final straw? No, absolutely not. In fact, this is just, um, I mean, he's certainly had periods in his career when, he, when he's lost uh, money within a year. I mean, he's been down 20% in some years. So this 5% is, is absolutely not the issue at all. It's just that at 57, having managed other people's money's money for 30 years, he uh, he said it was enough. He, he didn't want the stress anymore uh, and of managing other people's money. Yeah, in reading your uh, piece here, it's great work, and uh, you talk about his golf score, his time uh, on the course, his time with philanthropy, uh, the challenge of often having to break away from family vacations to get back to the office. I mean, common concerns, but perhaps not so common for someone of his stature and a billionaire with the level of success that he's had. Uh, what was the final thing that really made him decide that at 57 enough was enough? Well, he... he said that he had always sort of thought when as the 30th anniversary of his hedge fund approach that that might be the year and he had retired uh, he'd taken a brief sabbatical when he left Soros fund management in 2000 and so I think retirement was always on his mind but uh, this year he got a few months ago or a few weeks ago pardon he got a uh, invitation to go and play at a very prestigious pro-am golf tournament in Scotland, and he, it was in October, and because October has uh, historically been such a volatile month for stocks, mm -hmm. uh, he told his friend, no, I can't do it. I can't leave the office then. And the guy said, are you crazy? You're a billionaire. You've been doing this for 30 years. You can't take off a few days to play golf. Yeah. And then he said that sort of drove home the thought that he had had for so many years.